All right, so we've got one more uh, definition of art that we're going to look at in our last week here, and then you'll be off to the races, either endorsing one of these definitions or coming up with your own. So the one I want to look at uh, today is Jerry Levinson's intentional historical definition of art. Uh, so to understand where he's coming from, let's quickly just go back to last week when we were looking at Danto's and Dickey's institutional definition. And if you recall, their idea was basically uh, to be a piece of art, you have to have the status of being an artwork somehow conferred on you by some representative of this thing, the art world, uh, an artist or a curator or an art critic, something like that. And Levinson is, is thinking about this definition and he thinks, well, gosh, there seems to be lots of different artworks, things that are art, that count as art, but that have never had that status really conferred upon them by the art world in this way. Uh, and so he's going to give some examples of these things that seem clearly to be art, but the institutional definition doesn't include as art. And that's why he thinks, ah, we've got to have an alternative uh, definition here. So he's thinking primarily of things that just have never really been encountered by the art world. So he points out like, look, you could imagine, uh, say, someone who, who lives in an isolated tribe on the shores of the Amazon uh, and who creates a, a mosaic of stones on the riverbed. That clearly seems to be art, even though uh, no one from the art world, some like curator from the Guggenheim or a critic from the New York Times, they never even see this mosaic of stone, so they can never confer upon it the status of an artwork. That clearly still seems to be an artwork. And, and there, are, there are lots of examples of these kinds of things. So uh, if you go back to the, the, first, the first part of the, the 20th century, there is a seems to be an artist named Henry Darger, who was uh, a, a janitor by trade. Uh, but uh, in his apartment, he made all of these very elaborate uh, watercolors and, and also stories about these figures he called the Vivian Girls. Now, these, these uh, artworks are now displayed in the Smithsonian National Gallery in, in Washington, D.C., so now they count as artwork uh, under the institutional definition because this institution has conferred upon them these statuses of artworks. But what Levinson is going to say is, well, but come on, this was artwork before the Smithsonian ever discovered this stuff. When it was just sitting up in Henry Darger's attic, it was still art, even though it had not had that status conferred upon it. Uh, similarly, you could look at uh, another, some other pieces that are, are displayed now in the Smithsonian Museum. Uh, this is called The Throne of the Third Heaven of the Nation's Millennium General Assembly by James Hampton, who is also a janitor by profession. But uh, his entire garage in, in Washington, D.C., was uh, constructed out of, out of these structures that he built largely out of uh, uh, cardboard covered in tin foil and, and kind of gold colored foil. Uh, and now it's an artwork by the institutional definition because you know, this member of the art world, the Smithsonian Institution has come along and conferred upon it that status. But Levinson says, well, look, when this was just in James Hampton's garage and no one from the art world had ever seen it, it was still a work of art. And so the institutional definition can't capture that fact that it was a, a work of art before anyone uh, conferred that status upon it. Similarly, if you go back to, to these caves in France, Lascaux, 18,000 years ago, there are these amazing cave paintings uh, that uh, clearly are art, and yet there was no art world around back then. There wasn't like a curator or an art critic to come along and confer status of art on these things, and yet they're still clearly artwork. So Levinson says, all right, we need a definition of art that's going to allow us to include the Lascaux Caves, Henry Darger, uh, Christopher Hampton,